Watch as we pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Ashe. In fact, I tend to the garden of the mind and the pool of the soul daily, praying ceaselessly with boldness, casting my cares on the provider of all things. The protection I have is truth based in wisdom, mission being to eradicate ignorance. With persistent due diligence, I step on devils. As Holy Breath speaks the straight path to eternal life, whom shall I fear? This is much more than rhetorical acrobatics set to rhythm. Our work is an in-depth analysis into the houses built where the soul resides with precision. As J. Dave says, balance is anchored in the heart of the mind, beyond the point where ego and reason either coincide or collide. Allied with the Most High in the people, plight of the youth be why my lyrics so lethal, weapon is pen, words going into the most driest soil as I wait for Oya to reign. Nurturing and purifying. No more prisons, pistol popping, no more pain. Heaven on earth for real. Kind of place where we all got to deal. New black people starting over. No more lying, signifying, carnal, clever to the utmost. Jesus saves those that bear their crosses. Same for doctors, toilet washers, cops, and lawyers. Justice is everybody's business. This is what we must mean when we say the word organizing post-2010 census. Know thyself and learn of the mysteries within so that your inner palace gleams immaculate ashe. Visions of living large with less, sitting on some acres, growing spelt, earning wealth, face of beast. Mama Africa, bless up, getting grown, no more dress up. Coming home like Dennis Brown, holding swagger, mini universal, conscious sound. So as I roam far from home, I memorize this poem. Never money, not the ladies, nor the deals of the Mercedes. Lest I fall for death in Hades, God and God alone. Keep us safe from quiet danger. God and God alone. And God alone. And God alone. Watch as we pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Ashe. In fact, I tend to the garden of the mind and the pool of the soul daily. And you don't realize it. You don't realize it that God has been imprisoned. The devil was able to imprison God. So right inside your own self, your God self has been imprisoned, and you have a false sense of self running rampant inside the temple. This is why you understand what I'm saying? You, yes, sir. You have to bring reality's temple here on earth. Reality's <laughs> temple here on earth. Because yes, sir. We have to realize the enemy is running rampant inside this temple, and we have to recover. Yes, sir. Because why? Supremacy is a clinical dis-ease. It is a dis-ease, and the dis-ease has been running for so long that they don't need, the, 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 the white man don't have to continue to kick your ass mm -hmm. on, uh, uh, up front. He has made it so that he has gotten into you like a virus and you kick your own ass. Yes, sir. And it even has trickled down to some of us right here in the so-called conscious community. But you, um, a lot of your video content to me was very informative. You know, the things you talked about had substance, man. And um, you, and I first really knew about you because of JT Rally One, Real Nigga News. And <laughs> And um, <laughs> you and him got into a conflict with each other. And um, when I did my website, you were the only brother. And let me stress that. Because when I did that website, blackcommune.net, and I did the video and I asked 
the black YouTube community, the so-called black YouTube community, to give me your videos. Because at the time, a lot of brothers were getting flagged and videos taken down. So I said, you know what? You can put your videos on my website so that the message can still be heard for all to hear. You know, something like, you know, a little web. I, I, I made that website for everyone. But you were the only one that gave me permission to use your videos. And I thought that was very honorable of you and really a testament to how much you cared about the black community. Because all these other brothers that talk about it, you know, and, and say they love the black community and all this other shit, when it came down to supporting me or helping me out, they were nowhere to be found. And that's that's really a big sign. If, if somebody really care about black people, then they will want to help black people. But you were the only one. We're talking about not falling into the teacher trap, not falling into the website trap. So today, what teachers can you learn from? We just told you that the Aka Wu tells you that we're all the great teacher at the same time. So who are you going to learn from? You're going to learn from brothers like Sarnetta. You're going to learn the positives and negatives from brothers like Sarnetta. You're going to learn the positives and negatives of people like Brother Polite. The positives and negatives of people like Sarah Sutton Seti. You're going to learn from Maurice Muhammad, Talik Ibn Rod. You're going to learn from Netter Cat. You're going to learn. You're definitely going to learn from King Noble. You're definitely going to learn a little something something from Brother Daku. But we ain't the only teachers in the world. There are other people in your lives right now that are teaching you things that you need to know. Now, do you follow your teacher every single place and everywhere? Not necessarily. But if you got a good teacher, your teacher is going to teach you how to think, not what to think. And if you learn how to think, then you can be critical of all information. You can question anything. Your teachers ain't going to get mad. Huh? Your teacher, if he's your, truly your teacher, give me the question. Bring him on. If I can't answer the question, then I'm going to meditate on it, reflect on it, and try to get back with you with the answer. Get back to you with the answer. But I'm also going to encourage you to think. It's important for you to think. You're not just my student. You're also my teacher. I'm not your teacher, I'm also your student. Don't fall into the teacher trap. This has been Daku Akabo Wakatu. Things that make you go. You know, these aren't jokes, these are thoughts, these are things that make you say. This may seem terrible, but oh my god, I didn't know you were black. <laughs>
but just to take blatant shots at something you're doing, it just, it, it, yeah, it just sucks me. So I, I, I figured I'll speak out this way, this time, and try to get my voice out here heard on this situation so people know what I'm thinking about it. So I'll go ahead and play this clip of this gentleman, um, I guess basically criticizing the Facebook page. And I'll talk to you on the other side. I look at I look at this hundred thousand men. Hmm, a hundred thousand men to take down one man. But hmm, as I look at what's going on in government today, we are having a what? Government what? Shut what? Down what? A hundred thousand black men trying to take down what? One man? Hmm. So let me see. We can't get a hundred thousand black men to hmm what? Make our own what? Government? See y'all don't want to talk. See y'all don't want to talk that real stuff right now. That's why I like Tommy because he hits you with that real. As you see, he said Tommy hits you with that real, and for some reason, a Facebook page can stop a government shutdown. A Facebook page, and he makes a video saying this. He makes a fake a, a video saying that a face fake book page can change government. Do y'all realize the significance of that? Do y'all realize the significance of saying a Facebook page can change government? You see, the pink panty posse leader is not government. The pink panty posse leader is on this social media. And that's where this fight is at. People need to understand the difference. It's plain and simple to me. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be doing it. So let's take a look at what they're criticizing on the Facebook page. The Facebook page is called 100,000 black men against Tommy Sotomayor and for a progressive black community. For a progressive black community. I don't know what you know about uplifting titles, but I will put that in the category of one. So let's just take a look at what we or these guys are talking about when they're talking about this Facebook page and the reason that they're criticizing it is because the name says a hundred thousand men against Tommy Sotomayor mind you if you look at your screen right now there is a whole second part to that name for some reason people don't see that little and sign ampersand sign for a progressive black community and for a progressive black community now the reason that I'm making this video is to show you that the love for this man Tommy Sotomayor and his supporters is so strong that it makes them stupid obviously they can't read a complete title of a Facebook page. Now, I know y'all love Tommy Sotomayor, and that's all good with me. But what you got to understand is, I don't. I don't have no compassion for this guy. And don't hate on me because I'm doing my thing, because I'm doing right by my community. You see, a lot of people was leading the charge against Tommy, saying, he's bad, he's bad, I'm going to get him off, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. They were leading the charge against Tommy. And what happened is, they gave the fuck up. And that's one thing I never do, is I don't quit, ever. You know, that's why at 42 years old, I was able to retire. Not able to not not having to work a, a, another day in my life. That's why I am not worried about anything as far as my children is concerned. Their health, nothing. 
because I don't quit. I do not quit. But it is bred into our society to give up, to be scared, to run and cower. And that's why a while back I put out videos and I was asking the real black men, the ones that want to make a change, at least on this YouTube, to stand up and fight for our community. No, this ain't no government movement. No, nobody running for or elected office. This is social media. And the way you guys interpret it. Like we can take Facebook and overthrow the government. That is the dumbest argument that I've ever seen. Now you see this Facebook page was created by an individual. Okay? And if you're so concerned about the title of this 100,000 men Facebook page against Thomas Sotomayor, you can do the same thing that I've done and create a 100,000 black men against the crime in Chicago. 100,000 black men to stop ratchetness in our city. 100,000 black men to end single mothers. How about 100,000 black men to own up to their damn children? How about 100,000 black men to get off their ass and stop smoking blunts and get a motherfucking job? How about 100,000 men to do any of that shit? How about 100,000 men to teach their kids to graduate with a higher rate than what they're gradu graduating now? How about 100,000 men to pay their damn child support? You see... Nobody has came up with that yet. Do you know why? Because these same sorry ass motherfuckers criticizing me are scared. They hate to see another person doing something that internally they wanted to do. So once again, even though people say the Willie Lynch letter is fake, um, it's the, the, the Widow Lynch letter plays out in our society constantly. Now that they see this page is gaining subscribers, what I got now? Hold on. I got 153 subscribers in a week. That's not bad. I don't think this is my first time down this road. But it's definitely not 100,000. And do I expect to get 100,000? I wish I would. But that's an unreal goal. You know, you, you got to be realistic about what things are going on. But, guess what that name is? Intimidating. Guess why that guy made his video? He was intimidated by 100,000 black men. You see, there's a strategy to everything. And the more you guys are afraid, because that's what you are. The more that you guys are hating, because that's what you're doing. That means that you're weak. And like I've said in numerous of my videos, I do not have time for a weak ass black man. I do not have time for a black man to come and tell me what I am trying to do. Fight with me. Don't obstruct me. Fight with me. Give me assistance. But to come and try to tear down something that is getting built up just for the fuck of it. It's childish, immature, and it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I'm going to stop this video because I think using this guy's video and I'm sorry I don't know the brother name I just seen the video pop up in my feed and I downloaded it and I'm trying to use the fair use thing so I'm going because he's a supporter of Tommy and he's, he makes a lot of good valid arguments in there that damn near every Tommy Kool-Aid drinker makes and I want to point this stuff out so I'm trying not to be disrespectful but fuck it Tommy's a moron. I said Tommy. I meant Pete Panty 
posse leader. That's what I meant. The pink panty posse leader is a moron. And um, he's, he's, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to continue what I'm doing. That's just point blank, period. So y'all enjoy this video. I'm out. <clears throat> You, go, you know, these aren't jokes, these are thoughts, these are things that make you say, This may seem terrible, but my God, I didn't know you were black. My brother Angel Snubnob 7 at the Reality Temple. And to give props to him, because I listen to all of Angel Snubnob 7's videos, I think that um, he comes from a different angle. And there's a powerful message in a lot of the videos that he put out, and I try to catch all of them. I, I look at him as a free thinker and a person that's willing to challenge those of which he don't agree with or which he may think differently from and I really respect him for that. He's challenged KB, KMBS and he has also challenged the black supremacy movement as well and I have nothing against that because that which cannot be challenged cannot be stand, cannot stand and will not stand and will not survive the test of time. How many challenges we can withstand will determine how long we will be able to stand. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition, a rather exciting edition, I, I hope that it is, of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the host or the gatekeeper of this particular program, known here on the internet, now y'all say it with me. I'm known as the what? Mighty, mighty, mighty. Mm. Angel Snuffin' Up 7, I'm your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. For health purposes, I wanted to, I was going to remain silent until perhaps when I felt better. Did you know? And I want you to bear with me. But did you know? That you can sneeze. And strain your back. Now it may not sound like it. But I am making this video. In extreme pain. Well, I'm not going to say extreme pain, but believe me, it is painful. And I went on the internet to do a little research about sneezing and back pain. And, and, and uh, I found that it was it's quite uh, an often occurrence. It happens more than we think that you can sneeze so hard that it will cause the muscles in your lower back to strain. In fact, you can sneeze so hard that you can actually take one of your ribs in your lower back. You can knock it out of place. So hopefully, the only thing I'm suffering from is back strain. Take a few uh, painkillers while the uh, my back is trying to heal itself, and hopefully I can get back to normal. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go see my doctor and see what my physician has to say on this issue. But I did not want to remain silent, and I believe, not believe, I know that this particular topic is worth fighting the pain. I was listening to Tyrone Thompson, a brother of whom I'm speaking on the telephone in person, of whom I view as very sincere in his belief, in his mission to 
quash the what I view also as extreme hatred coming from the voice of this man we know of as Tommy Sotomayor. I've never in all my time on social media and there have always been black woman bashes but this particular person is so vicious you can hear his hate coming from his soul but the love he expresses to those who can give him material gain and those of whom control the material game which are in essence Caucasian people so he skins and grins and defends Caucasian people while he mocks and degrades especially black women but the whole black community period and I am also like Tyrone Thompson except to continue to uh, make videos about this particular person that is not my mission as I have bigger fish to fry however if the people shown not by their talk but by other ways that they are sincere in helping rid us of this parasite this vulture this leech of our community then I will be happy to jump in the fray. I do and I will help Tyrone Thompson in any kind of way that I can in this matter. The Honorable Brother Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. He said to us that evil exists because good men, good people, do nothing. I don't know how many videos I have made about Tommy Sotomayor. I don't know how many videos Tyrone Thompson and many others. In fact, this, I would call it not a war, but this, uh, what do I call it? But anyway, we have people who have spoken against Tommy Sotomayor for a while. And now you don't see them anymore. Many are called, but few are chosen. Some people cannot run the race. They go to a certain point, they get tired. And the reason why so many of us get tired, even myself, we get tired because there is no support. How can Tommy Sotomayor raise $20,000, $25,000, $30,000, and so forth? Because those who listen to Tommy Sotomayor, they put their money where their mouth is. However, those who claim to be good, those who claim to be righteous, those who deem what comes out of Tommy Sotomayor's mouth evil and wicked you will not go in your pocket to do anything to counter what Tommy Sotomayor does evil exists because good people do nothing in other words good people are good for nothing how can we sit around Hundreds of views, hundreds of likes on these videos, anti Tommy Sotomayor. But yet and still, there are ways to really get under Tommy's skin. But we can't raise and nobody want to put their money where their mouth is. But Tommy's followers. Those who support Tommy have no problem with that. And it could possibly be because he has a lot of races. Races have a lot of money they can throw away. Many black people, we are poor. 
We claim to be poor, but we can afford to be on YouTube. We pay our cable bill, our internet bill. We go to the movies when we want to. We always have, we don't have money for what we really need. But for things that we really don't need, don't mean nothing, we broke. What is Tommy, what is uh, Tyrone Thomas going to do with any money I sent him to fight Tommy with? What, what, what would you do with it? No, no. Nobody that is listening to Tommy Sotomayor don't care what the money is going to. They are supporting their man. When people said, I support Barack Obama, they put $1, $10, $5, $1,000, $20,000, send it to Barack Obama. What he did with the money, who knows, really. But people, when they support something, you support the liquor store, you put your money where your mouth is, you support the whole house, you put your money where your mouth is, you support the drug dealer, you put your money where your mouth is, the local drive-in, the movie theater, McDonald's, Burger King, you put your money where your mouth is, but when somebody here on YouTube who is fighting somebody that has this type of support, and this man needs that type of support himself. The only thing you can do is write on a comment. I'm with you, brother. Good video. It means nothing. You good people, good for nothing. This is why black folks in general, that's why we sit where we're at. Cheerleading. We good cheerleaders. Go get them, Tyrone. You tell them snuck nut. Best video, good video. It means nothing at all. I did present to brother Tyrone Thomas. Thompson. I'm sorry. It's Thompson. And I also did present on his website. 100,000 men against Tommy Sotomayor and for a progressive black community. We can make videos and that's fine and dandy. But there's nothing like the courthouse. There's nothing like written complaint. There's nothing like the courthouse. But if necessary, you got to put your money where your mouth is. Now, you think Tommy Sotomayor might be upset with these few videos or, with, or these videos that expose truth on him. Doesn't really mean anything because Tommy thrives on entertainment. Tommy thrives on controversy. But Tommy does not want his money to be uh, plugged up, clogged, interfered with. And you can do that. You can bring a notice to Google. This is not an attempt to silence the voice of Tommy Sotomayor. However, upon Google and Facebook and these other social media, we need to know the reason why Tommy Sotomayor can be vile, nasty, and profane and present hate speech, copyright infringement, cause people to go out and false flag videos. I would like to ask Google and inform Google, why are you allowing all this? Why is this man so special that he is above terms of use? I would like to know that. And Google may listen to a write-in campaign, but Google and everybody and anybody will listen to a subpoena from court. Either they will address the issue or they will lose the case immediately, and at least we can get, like Tommy Sotomayor said, we can get paid. You're not serious about this person. I could take it upon myself to take such actions, but why should I? He doesn't really mean anything to me like that.
Because if all these people, now, when he makes certain videos, I can respond. But that's it. But I thought that many of you were upset with the vicious, harsh, ignorant words of this person that is clearly a black version of a Ku Klux Klan's person. I thought y'all got a problem with that. But all you can do is cheerlead. All you can do, I'm with you, man, to write some stuff while Tommy raises $50,000, $100,000. This is not fair to those who are making response videos to Tommy Sotomayor or to, to Tyrone Thompson. This is not fair. And I can understand and I see why so many who used to make uh, videos opposing Tommy Sotomayor, they gave up. Tommy Sotomayor is not the average person. Tommy Sotomayor is a powerful force on this medium. And only another powerful force can deal with another powerful force. We must give Tommy Sotomayor his props. And Tommy Sotomayor, while we are, or you are, as they say, pussyfooting around, Tommy Sotomayor is getting more stronger. I was listening to his trailer for his promotional video for this fatherless America. And towards the end of the video, there is the voice of Dr. Umar Johnson, who is much recognized, much admired, much respected in the so-called black conscious pan-African community. I don't know if Dr. Umar Johnson knows that Tommy Sotomayor used his voice in that promotional video, see, by doing this, it makes us believe that Dr. Umar Johnson supports Tommy Sotomayor. And what and who is Tommy Sotomayor? Tommy Sotomayor calls for the extinction and the extermination of black people. He says that Caucasian women can raise their babies better than black women. The black woman is a dark and she's a beastie. If you took away Tommy Sotomayor's race, his color, he would be no different than any other Caucasian races. Well, actually, um, the smart Caucasian races, they know how to become president, a judge, the police. They know how to act their act out their racism on the down low. There's a reason why so many people with dark skin is in prison and, and jails and mental institutions. That is not by coincidence, it's by design. And this man, Tommy Sotomayor, is helping the races. He's an assistant to races. We know this, and we see what kind of power this man has, what kind of pull, but we're good, good for nothing. So, any video that I make that opposes Tommy Sotomayor, any video that Big Dread, Clifton Rainey, Tyrone Thompson, or something that the advice show might say. What what sense do it make? If all of these men and some women out here. But we cannot get the support. And I'm pretty sure there are just as many who oppose Tommy Sotomayor. As it is that support him. But 
the supporters, his followers, they support that man. When he says go flag, that's what they go do. Like robots. We can ask the same thing of our audience and you will do nothing. So, I would like to ask myself, the advice show, Brother Tyrone Thompson, Clifton Ray, Big Dread, and so many of you that make these opposition, anti-Tommy Sotomayor videos. Are we really doing a good thing? Are we doing this in protest just to make ourselves feel good? Because if we're making doing these videos just to make ourselves feel good, well, that's a personal issue. Then we should not expect support from nobody. But if we believe that we are standing up and doing something that so many in the black community claim that they want, but they won't support. It should be no problem if we want to make a video or we want to take Tommy Sotomayor to court. If we ask you for a dollar or five dollars, ain't nobody want to steal from you. We, want, we are going up against somebody that has a lot of pull. But you won't support it. So, what is going on here? Are we making videos in protest? Or are the only thing that we're doing unknown to us, are we actually helping Tommy Sotomayor? Now, for myself, I have addressed Tommy Sotomayor in many videos. I have tried to speak with him. On his on his video and tried to call into his talk show. Tommy Sotomayor does not want anything or has does not want anything to do with Angel Snub Nub Seven. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, he remains silent on Angel Snub Nub Seven. But if he addresses you. And, he, and if he finds the need to say something to you, don't you think you should question that? Are you really opposing Tommy Sotomayor or have you fell into his trap of helping him entertain his trolls? Have you become or you believe that you are serious, but in reality you become an entertainer? You are, not only have you become an entertainer for Tommy and his trolls and his audience. And I'm not going to say trolls. I'm going, to, I'm going to say misguided person. And even Tommy Sotomayor himself is misguided and lost person. So I don't really have anything against Tommy Sotomayor. We do things in ignorance and in our ignorance sometimes. We really believe we are correct. And sometimes it takes some kind of experience for a person to really see what is going on. It may not be your video or your words. So the question that uh, uh, that has that I uh, that I present to us Excuse me, my woo, my backs. I'm almost done here, though. The question I that that I raise: Are we falling into the trap of entertainment? Because if the people that listen to our videos that 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 are anti-Tommy, but they're not willing to put their money where their mouth is, like Tommy's audience is doing then we you and I we are nothing but entertainers so the only thing our audience would do I wonder what Talik is going to say about Tommy Sotomayor next I wonder what Tyrone Thompson going to say and do next Big Big Dread Clifton Rainey 
our sister Lashida. Wow, this is some good information. Where's the good money? If we call you to arms, where your gun? Where your bullets? Bullets and guns ain't free. Are you asking for money in the fight? Hell yeah. Now, if you want me to join the fight, then put your money where your mouth is. If you want Tyrone Thompson in the fight, or any of us in the fight, and you really want to put a whooping on this man, put your money where your mouth is, just like his people are. That's the bottom line. Hurt him in his pocket. You hurt him by attacking Google. Google is the source of his power. So you go after Google, you go after Google, you will get Tommy Sotomayor. Again, this is not to silence Tommy Sotomayor, but he is a violator of terms of use, and we can easily prove that. And we can prove that to Google. And if Google don't want to listen, then maybe Google will listen in a court of law. Matter of fact, I know they will listen because I took Google to court. Google will listen in a court of law. In fact, Google will try to negotiate some type of term, some type of remedy for whatever the problem is because they don't want to go to court. This man is in violation. This goes for Facebook and Twitter or any of these social media. They have terms of use. This man is a violator. He is in violation. We want to know why Google supports this. I don't need a cheerleader. Tyrone Thompson don't need a cheerleader. The advice show don't need a cheerleader. None of us who make anti-Tommy Sotomayor videos, we don't need cheerleaders. We need people that want to help us and be serious. And if you see us serious, those of you who were making anti-Tommy opposing videos, come back in the fight. Get back in this. This is a, a fight and in support of 100,000 black men against Tommy Sotomayor for a progressive black community. Tommy Sotomayor does not represent a progressive black community. He represents hate. Negative stereotypes. Love of racist. Celebrity seeking. Materialism. Ego and arrogant. These attributes does not equate to a progressive black community. Every black person is not your friend. But this person, I give it to him. He's very slick. He's a good trickster. Very, very clever deceiver. But he can only do that against those who refuse to be serious about dealing with him. So if the audience those who oppose Tommy Sotomayor, when you get serious, and if you're willing to put your money where your mouth is, I can guarantee you, Tommy won't be smiling too, too much longer. He won't. Because we will be getting in his pocket. And he does not care about his daughter, his mother, his listening audience, the only person Tommy Sotomayor cares about is himself and getting paid. 
and his own personal demon, he has a hatred for black women. Pound cake, pound cake. You have all those people listening to, to Tommy Sotomayor laughing while he talks about beating up somebody, a woman. Even with my back hurting, I wish you would step to me, Tommy Sotomayor, talk about pound cake, pound cake. But this shows you what a low life this man is, woman beater. Because I might not be as weak as you think. Pound cake. So what they're saying, are we going to get, not we, are y'all who listen to, to those of us who make these anti-Tommy Sotomayor videos, are you going to just be cheerleaders or are you ready and willing to really help us even if it means you got to go in your pockets just like Tommy Sotomayor's people are doing? We can make movies too. Tommy Sotomayor, not the only one that can make a movie. You got good men. Tyrone Thompson, The Advice Show. These, uh, Clifton Rainey, Big Dread. These men, they serious. Help them like Tommy Sotomayor's people helped him. Thank you for listening. I got to get out of here. My back is killing me. But you see where I'm coming from? This was and is. Let's talk about it. Send some emails. Jot down your comments. This was and is the reality's temple on earth. So you have a 10%. So because you are cool with Tommy, he won't call your mother a whore, a prostitute, a monkey, a black bitch, because y'all are cool. But, your, but what if your mother wear weeds? What if she's ghetto? Or, I, or you would join Tommy and say, yeah, my mama is a monkey and I ate black bitch. This shows why you're trying to show us our sickness. Because you say, oh, we are haters. We try to, we want to down other people because we're down ourselves. There's nothing down about me. To associate with Tommy Sotomayor is the down. From that place, the only place you can go is up. Nobody is hating on Tommy Sotomayor. You want us just to ignore these nasty Filthy, violent, profane words. And Tommy Sotomayor also said, I'm getting paid by the racists. I don't care. As long as they pay me. They told me to say whatever. And I took their money because I, I got to get paid. Y'all not paying me. So this goes to show. And it brings a question to what your tour really supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about real black men. And in conclusion, I want to say this. And I'm not degrading you or making mockery of you. But what made y'all real men? Because I know I'm trying and learning. But I have yet. After a, after a half century, I've yet to really know what that is. And you cannot become a real man till you become free. And within that society, the society determines the criteria of what a man is supposed to be. And so when you become a real man, you fit the criteria for the culture, the society that you created and that you built. What is you basing being a real man on? Who is your example? Because you marry? Because you feed your children? Because you got an education? What is the criteria? What is it? And if you're a real man, how come you still a slave to the races? But you're a real man. How come you still depend? How come the money that y'all lusting for, how come the money still has the Caucasian racist man's face on it? But you're a real man. A real man would be shamed. What is the benefit to the community for your tour instead of lining your own pockets? What are you going to do? What is it for?
a daycare center for black women so they can go have a place to take their children so they can go to work or, or whatever or a basketball a basketball goal in the neighborhood so the young children can play basketball what is, what is the goal except your own pocket selling DVDs and books listen to my radio show it's all about you exploiting the people I talk loud, so don't <laughs> don't get upset about my, my voice. I just talk loud like that because I get emotional real quick. I get emotional about my people that I love, that I'm part of, that deserve better. And not to be hustled by some clowns. Not calling you a clown, but I would call Tommy Sotomayor a clown because if he can dish it out, he can take it. You gonna call somebody a monkey and an ape, a gorilla, or whatever, black beastie bitch, then you should be able to handle it yourself. But your Tommy Sotomayor can't even handle it. He's always crying. Oh, they they went to my grandma's house. Oh, they went to my mama's house. Oh, they come to my house. Oh, oh, oh. Who knows how many boxes of tissue Kleenex this man has used from crying, but he does not have a problem with causing others to cry. So, really, when it's all said and done, it's good that you presented and brought before the people this so-called real man tour that I don't know where, I don't know how you became a real man when the black man has been a slave in this country for 400 years because if you're a real man you don't control nothing you don't build nothing when did y'all become these real men I would like to know because right now nobody is a, nobody impressed me including myself because I'm learning trying to get there I don't claim to be no real man you can't be a real man living in another man's house still a slave how you gonna be a real man? What example you gonna give to these children? All that you gonna do is talk, buy my book, listen to listen to me talk on the radio. What kind of crap is that? This Caucasian man has a country. He control you. If the Caucasian man tell you you ain't gonna have no tour, what you gonna do? You gonna say okay? He ain't gonna let me have a tour. Jot down your come. Come on, jot down your comment. Let's talk about it. Do a video response. Uh My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like Jackie King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down the dead fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move for me. Like Jackie King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down the dead fire at reality simple.